Everything you do as an embroidery business wraps around that embroidery design. Now, whether you build your own in Wilcom Embroidery Studio or you outsource your design creation to a company, I can bet you probably have hundreds, if not thousands of embroidery designs. And managing those embroidery designs is just one of the challenges we have to face in our day-to-day -day business. Now, one of the better type of orders we can get, of course, is a repeat order. We've already got the design set up. It's just sitting there on a hard drive waiting to be stitched out. But you want to be able to easily and quickly find that design. And you can't always find it by a visual search or even a keyword search. Sometimes it's an order number or it's a customer name. So storing them in various folders can often be challenging. Now, in an earlier video, we showed how Wilcom Design Library is a great way to open your embroidery designs. Well, it's actually a lot more than just that. It's a complete design management platform where you can categorize and store your embroidery designs so they're easily accessible at any point in time. So let's dive a little bit deeper into Design Library. Now, inside your Wilcom Embroidery Studio software, to access the Design Library, select the Design Library icon in the standard toolbar up the top. Now, Design Library is a standard part of the Wilcom Embroidery Studio application. It's available in all levels of our software. So it's available for all your users of Wilcom. Now, when it loads, you obviously see all the thumbnails of your embroidered designs. And yes, you can scroll through and you can visually try to find a design, but if you've got thousands or hundreds or tens of thousands, that's pretty much impossible. Now, most companies also use a type of numbering or naming system for their designs, and often that's not always the best way to find a design as well. But let's say I've done a design for a customer in the past, and I know that that design had a wolf element to that. If when I'm creating my designs, I correctly categorize and put in keywords, then in Design Library, I can just type in the word wolf, and it will search all my designs and find the designs that have wolf in that design. Now, if I select that design and open up the design information, we can see on the order tab, I have a whole stack of information for that design. I can see the title of the design, the current status that is in production. I can see it's related to my order number 1030 and that I did that in February 2017, so quite a, quite a while ago. I can see the customer, their contact details, and the customer's reference number. So if this customer calls them and says, I want to get pretty much that exact same job I did back in 2017. Well, I can go through my filing cabinet and try to find that order or look up my old order sheet. Um, if I'm using a accounting software, it probably doesn't have any visual representation of those designs on that. But with Design Library, I can select that reference number, copy that out, and then search for that in Design Library. And it will now locate every single design I did as a part of that job. So it's all easily accessible in a single view. Now, when you look at your designs, it can be viewed as a thumbnail display, as I've got here. If you want to have larger thumbnails, you can make it be larger. Or you can also display it in a detailed list form. So you can see the design, the title, the width, the height, how many colors, how many stitches, the customer details, the status, and other information you've stored with that design, including what type of garment is it going it on, and the quantity for that particular design. Now, you don't need a fancy database. It just looks at the designs already on your hard drive. And if you browse in deeper to your folders, let's go back to a thumbnail view. When I'm selecting the top folder, it's showing every single design in that top folder. But as I expand in further and click on a subfolder, It then shows all the designs in that folder and all the subfolders beneath that folder. So the deeper you dig in, the less designs it shows because it's only showing the designs in that folder and all the folders below that. So it's really simple to use. It's really easy to search. You don't need any technical database setup. It just uses the designs that it finds on your hard drive. And we've had customers tell us that they found designs that they thought they lost. Because Design Library 
just found the design for them. Now let's click back to our design workspace. And let me show you how easy it is to get a design into Design Library. Now I made this design a little bit earlier and let's hope this is true. Let's hope we never lose an embroidery design again. Now, before you add a design to Design Library, you wanna add some information to make that design more searchable. So get into a habit when you build a design that you do this while you're creating your design. Click on the Design Information Docker. Then make sure you have the Order tab selected and then complete the information in this screen. So first of all, let's give it a title. Never lose an embroidery design again. Now the design status, well, I'm about to send this to the customer for their approval. So we'll put it as uh, sent to customer. Now the order number, it might be my order number 10552. Uh, the customer could be um, Acme Kitchens and the contact number could be Bill Smith. Now this is where I can put the customer's reference number that they give me. So PO, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm the sales rep for this job. Now you can fill out as much of this information as you like. If you don't want to store product information, you don't have to, but you also can. So this could be for a men's polo shirt. And it's a left chest, 25. Now you can continue filling in as much of that information as you want. Again, the more information you put into that design, the easier it would be to find that design a little bit later. So let's just copy out that reference number and I'll go and save that design. Now you might have folders for the year, for the month. It doesn't really matter how you store them. It can be in any folder on your hard drive and we'll call this don't lose a design. And we've now saved that away. So if in a year's time, that customer comes back and says, hey, I wanna get that design again, just go over to your design library. Again, choose the top folder, so you browse all the folders in your business. Then in your search field, put in a keyword, a title, a description, or in my case, the purchase order. If the customer quotes that over the phone, press enter, and it's found that design. And by chance, there are other designs that also have that exact same purchase order again, because again, maybe I did more than one design for that customer at that point in time. So Design Library is a really simple way to find designs on your computer. Again, no fancy database, no fancy system. Just click on the Design Library, start searching, and hopefully you'll never lose a design again.